view of a Citroen Zara Picasso. So this is a nice little mini NPV that goes against the Renault Scenic, the Ford C-Max. So let's have a little wander around. Let's have a look at how this is. This is a 2007 one owner car. It's a nice, cute looking car, isn't it? It's not the the most exciting or, you know, take your breath away sort of car, is it? But it's a cute, silly little thing and it's made to be practical for the family. And the way it's designed, it's like a little egg on wheels, isn't it? But this design makes it very aerodynamic. It's nice, simple designs. This being the exclusive, they shove a few shiny bits on the old bumpers, front and rear, just to make it look a bit nicer. Otherwise, it's a nice, simple, clean lines. And you've got these bumper protectors, obviously, in this higher range, it's color-coded. Then you've got these nice crease line there that just breaks up the side otherwise those being really huge doors you know it would look a bit odd and great big windows for the kiddies look at that lovely let's have a look inside so inside you've got three separate seats this is oh Nice comfortable velour seats, but they get dirty, they hide dirt, so you have to make sure you steam clean those regularly. And look at this lovely little feature little uh, footrest, built in footrest. Fantastic. And it got, look at, huge underfloor storage for the kids to hide their toys and sweets away from mum and dad's prying eyes and these seat bases are nice and long and look at these cushions so thick and comfortable this is the most comfortable feet <sighs> look at that loads of knee room <laughs> let's not talk about headroom <laughs> it's huge you can go this is great for those that go ascot loads of headroom six foot five seven footers can get in here with loads of space look at this lovely little feature they got the picture of the picasso on there on the uh, picnic basket and you got little hooks there for your shopping whoops nearly fell over there and like i said it's got huge windows so it's a uh, perfect for kids and as i've said on the kia vanga review I love these MPVs as opposed to SUVs because look at the height it's just at waist high so if you're a mum with a kid and you want to plonk them in their seat look you can just slide them in or if you're an elderly person or those with physical disabilities you just slide yourself in rather than plonking yourself down or trying to clamber up like you do in SUVs Look at the size of this. So this has a two level. Look how high that opens. So a huge opening there and a huge, um, oh wow, that's a huge uh, boot, isn't it? That, lovely. And there's no load lip. Obviously the previous owners that have had it had a few scrapes there, but no load lip to so, sew and because it's relatively low look, let's check it according to so it's knee high there so you don't need to like drag anything too high you can just put it in and again this is a godsend for those with mobility issues etc or with a weak back so you don't need to yank things in or if you're a mum who's trying to get the pram out this is absolutely perfect and these essentially this is what these found that's why they call them a family car and an MPV that's what they were designed for and fantastic they are let's have a look at the front how comfortable is this oh, 
look at these sofas yes they're sofas I mean <laughs> the thickest seats I've seen and oh oh they're so comfortable so nice this these are the and you got the armrest there and so many adjustments you can use that you can tilt it do whatever you like but these are the most comfortable seats you will find anywhere in this class and amazing for long journeys for with the kids or the family or if it's for work amazing this yeah these citrons this is the closest you'll, you'll see from my driving uh, bit of this video it, it, it is so comfortable but the cushioning the the length of the base so your under thighs are help us and the way it's curved up and then down like that it's just perfect obviously these sides could be a little bit higher but it's not a sports car it's supposed to be like a lounge really in here and that's how it feels so nice the only problem is so comfortable you might fall asleep anyway let's have a look look at this the days when the french did actually move the fuse box so we ended up getting a really nice sized glove box with cup holders and a place to put your pen there and you've got some more cubbies there the age old days good old days or bad old days when used to do people used to smoke but this is a more for loose change and more cubby space down here and on this one you've got your digital climate control this car's done 102,000 miles and it's doing well for it um, look at the design of this dash it's quite nice I think a bit plasticky but it's nice and where the gear stick is is just perfect just a bit like the Honda Civic it's just perfect as you're driving so you're not reaching for the gear stick and it's in your line of vision as well so it's fantastic so so although a little bit um, this plastics have worn well although this owner was careful a lot of these the cassos these get really scratched up and chipped and they look really awful to be uh, honest with you but uh, it just goes to show if you got a careful owner then uh, they last all right actually and one thing talking of cubbies what on earth is this for Please do put comments below. It's so shallow. What on earth are you supposed to put on there? Can't put sunglasses in. Well, I'm not going to put my phone in. Well, latest phones don't even fit in there. Anyway, please do let me know what on earth is this supposed to be for. They've actually put some rubber mat there. So it's whatever's there doesn't rattle about. But I have no idea. And you got it there as well. So do let me know if anyone knows what on earth that is supposed to be for. I'd uh, be most grateful. And of course you've got CD player there before I forget. And this one has very odd here actually. Let me show you. It's got the electric windows for the front here and then the electric windows for the rear down here next to where the electric mirrors are. So it's a bit weird. A bit weird there that they've got the uh, electric windows in uh, different places for the passenger ones. And then obviously, nice little touch there, warning triangle and the locking button in nice, easy red. Look at that. Let's go for a drive, eh? So being a two litre, it picks up very well. And the uh, this automatic gearbox is not the smoothest in the world, so it doesn't like being pushed too hard. Otherwise, just normal driving, it's nice and soft, compliant ride, and being a Citroen, of course, it's one of the most comfortable cars in its class, if not the most comfortable. It just glides over the roughest of roads, so where it's uh, very bumpy and you feel the thumps below the small of your back and this one is super compliant super soft the only problem with that is it's quite wallowy 
yeah it's quite wallowy and uh, but other than that lovely it's if you want something for a long journey in terms of the mini NPV there won't be many more comfortable than this for driving around the motorway it's uh, quite well insulated and as you can see fantastic visibility like the A-pillar is really good that this glass is there reduces the blind spot and then you see behind huge expanses of glass so visibility all around is excellent but I mean look at this why is this the smallest of wing mirrors you'll ever see it's ridiculous it it's good that you got all this expanse of glass because this mirror door mirror is absolutely ridiculous it's obviously been taken out of the rest of the Peugeot Citroen group they couldn't be bothered to uh, slightly get slightly bigger mirrors but uh, other than that that shortcoming and maybe the engine not being the quietest in the world you'd expect a two litre to be uh, uh, quiet but this is uh, quite loud actually when you uh, push it at higher speeds otherwise that's about it really lovely comfortable drive soft compliance seats the legendary Citroen magic carpet ride well near enough there fantastic let's go for the final review so what's my final thoughts on the Citroen Zara Picasso well it's not much to look at is it really but it's a cutesy little car you know and to be honest it's aged quite well hasn't it a bit fuddy duddy in certain people's eyes but I think this design's aged not too badly at all there's a thing for having conservative design I suppose isn't it doesn't get uh, hearts racing or doesn't make you feel special when you're driving it but if you need a practical family car from A to B and one that's the most comfortable in its class well this is it um, is it the most reliable no but then again it, it, you know unless you buy the Toyota or Honda I suppose it, it's as reliable as the Renault and the or Ford etc so I wouldn't really discount it on that part uh, maybe the uh, petrol engines are a bit juicy but overall hugely practical huge windows f uh, for the kids and easy to get in and out of and like I said the key selling point is it's the most comfortable one in its class so if you want comfort above everything else and uh, you can overlook those tiny little mirrors wing mirrors there definitely worth considering Hope you like and subscribe everyone. See you soon. Bye-bye.